How does a boy from a humble middle-class family in India become the CEO of Google and Alphabet? From a two-bedroom house in India, a young boy named Sundar Pichai would rise to become one of the world's most influential tech leaders. His story is a testament to the transformative power of education, passion, and perseverance. Growing up, Sundar's family did not have many luxuries. They lived in a modest house shared with tenants. The Pichai family's living room floor doubled as their bed, a common scenario for many middle-class families in India. While other households enjoyed the convenience of refrigerators, the day the Pichai family got their own was a monumental event. But amidst the scarcity, there was one object that fascinated young Sundar. The family's first telephone. It arrived when he was 12, and it sparked a love for technology that would shape his future. Sundar discovered he had a knack for remembering every number he ever dialed. This device, a symbol of connection and innovation, kindled a curiosity that would lead him to the forefront of the digital age. Yet, technology was a luxury the Pichai family couldn't easily afford. Sundar's father, an electrical engineer, had to save for three years just to buy a new scooter for the family. As for a television or a car, those were out of reach. Sundar didn't have regular access to a computer until he came to America for graduate school. Even then, the television they finally got had only one channel. Despite these constraints, Sundar's parents prioritized their children's education above all else. They sacrificed much of their life and disposable income to ensure their children were educated. They believed in the power of knowledge, in the potential of their children, and in the opportunities that a good education could provide. In spite of the lack of resources, Sundar Pichai's parents made sure their children had the best education they could afford. This commitment to education, coupled with Sundar's growing passion for technology, set the stage for an incredible journey. A journey that would take him from a humble home in India to the helm of Google and Alphabet. Opening. How did Sundar Pichai get from India to Stanford University? Sundar Pichai's journey from India to Stanford University was not a simple one. This bright mind emerged from the Indian Institute of Technology, standing out as one of the most promising students. His academic prowess earned him a golden opportunity, a scholarship to Stanford. But the journey to Stanford was fraught with financial challenges. The cost of a plane ticket to America was a year's salary for Sundar's father. Imagine that a whole year's income invested in a single flight ticket all in the hope of a brighter future for his son. Once Sundar landed in America, the financial challenges didn't end there. In fact, they intensified. America was expensive. A single phone call back home would cost more than $2 a minute. A backpack, an essential for any student, cost the same as his father's monthly salary back in India. The costs were high, but so were the stakes. Despite these hurdles, Sundar was driven by a deep passion. His love for technology, the same love that was sparked by the family's first telephone back in India, kept him motivated. It was this passion that led him to cross oceans and continents, to brave a new world, to step out of his comfort zone, and to chase his dreams. His journey was not just about moving geographically, it was also about personal growth. Sundar was learning, evolving, adapting. He was not just a student at Stanford, he was a student of life. But perhaps the most important aspect of Sundar's journey was his open mind. He was open to new experiences, open to learning, open to failing, and open to succeeding. This openness, this spirit of curiosity and exploration was a key factor in shaping the Sundar Pichai we know today. Closing. Getting to America was a challenge, but Sundar Pichai's passion for technology and open mind kept him going. His journey was a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and an open mind. It's a story that continues to inspire millions around the world. How did Sundar Pichai rise through the ranks to become CEO of Google and Alphabet? This is a question that has intrigued many. The answer lies in his relentless drive, persistence, and passion for technology. In 2004, Sundar joined Google, a burgeoning tech giant. His entry into the company was not marked by fanfare or grandeur. Instead, he quietly immersed himself in the world of technology and innovation that Google offered. He worked diligently contributing to the development of key products such as Google Chrome, Chrome OS, and Google Drive. By 2015, Sundar's hard work, leadership, and vision had not gone unnoticed. He was appointed as the CEO of Google, a testament to his dedication and innovation, but Sundar did not stop there. His sights were set higher, and his ambition was unstoppable. Just four short years later in 2019, Sundar was named CEO of Alphabet, Google's parent company. 
This was an incredible achievement, marking Sundar's place as one of the most influential figures in the tech industry. Today, his net worth is over a billion dollars, a far cry from his humble beginnings. But Sundar's success story is not just about the positions he holds or his net worth. It's about the significance of his journey for people around the world. His story is a beacon of hope and inspiration, showing that with hard work, dedication, and a passion for what you do, you can rise from humble beginnings to achieve unimaginable heights of success. His success is not only a testament to his individual capabilities, but also a reflection of the opportunities that the technology industry can provide. It sends a powerful message to the world that regardless of one's background, with the right mindset and determination, anyone can make a significant impact. From a humble shy boy to a billionaire and CEO of one of the most powerful companies in the world, Sundar Pichai's journey is nothing short of inspirational. His story is a powerful reminder that no dream is too big, and no journey is too arduous if you have the courage to pursue it. What can we learn from Sundar Pichai's journey? This man who went from sleeping on a floor in India to leading one of the most powerful companies in the world is the epitome of humility and impeccable work ethic. His tale serves as a beacon of inspiration, illuminating key lessons we can integrate into our own lives. One vital takeaway is his perspective on ambition and failure. Sundar encourages us to aim so high that we risk failure, because even if we fall we're bound to land somewhere great. This advice encapsulates his own journey, colored by setbacks that never deterred him, but rather fueled his ambition. Another profound lesson from Sundar is about pushing boundaries. He advises us to work with people who make us feel a bit insecure, as this indicates we're working with individuals who are better than us, pushing us to grow and improve. In the words of Sundar Pichai, if you don't fail sometimes, you're not being ambitious enough. Let yourself feel insecure, it will help you grow.